If starting over, what silver would you buy today? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So yes, just to begin this evening, I am presenting right here to my left corner a 2018 Chinese Panda. Again, never, ever, ever a supporter of China. Always, always, always a supporter of silver. Silver Pandas, launched in 1983, were struck in proof editions for the first three years. Though proof coins boasted a strictly limited mintage of 10,000 per year, in 1986, um, no silver pandas were produced, though they have been minted each year since. The reverse artwork on the silver panda changes annually, featuring a new panda scene, making them extremely desirable to collectors. In 2002, the China Gold Coin Corporations flirted with the idea of stopping the annual design change on the silver panda and repeated the same 2001 artwork. Um, the coin world voiced its displeasure and the yearly changing artwork assumed in 2003. Currently, you can still find these for under $39 with free shipping. I think that is an absolute, absolute, absolute steal. We got Silver Sun over here in the corner acting up per usual. But let me continue. He's not going to take away from our fun. So, of course, I have four coins here that I would say that I would purchase starting all over again. Why? Let me get into it. So, to begin, Chinese Pandas, American Eagles, 1964 Candy Half Dollars and Walking Liberty Half Dollars are top choices for silver buyers for several key reasons. These coins have strong recognizability, liquidity, and historical and aesthetic appeal, making them desirable additions to any silver stack. To begin right here, I already introduced them. Chinese pandas are known for their exquisite designs, which change annually, enhancing their collectability. Impressive and astonishing. Their purity, usually 99.9 .9 or higher, and status as government-issued bullion add to their reliability, especially for collectors with an international perspective. I have one. Again, not a fan of China, always a fan of silver. Then we go to the infamous, famous, glorious American Eagle. American Eagles are the Quintessential silver bullion coins in the United States. They hold a high level of recognition, meaning they are widely trusted and easy to resell. Issued by the U.S. Mint, American Eagles contain one troy ounce of .999 fine silver and are often associated with the stability of the U.S. government, a feature that appeals to both seasoned investors and newcomers to silver. You just cannot go wrong with getting your hands on American eagles and then yes up in my left corner i am showing off 1964 candy half dollars wow from 1964 they contain 90 percent silver and were one of the last coins in the u.s with such a high silver content they're popular not only for their historical value, but also for their silver weight, which makes them a practical choice for those looking to acquire silver at near spot price. These are going up incredibly though, as of recently. And then yes, right here. Boom, Walking Liberty. Walking Liberty half dollars are 90% silver coins known for their beauty and history. Their design is iconic and their vintage status uh, often adds a slight premium over pure bullion, but they can still be found at reasonable prices uh, close to spot. Their blend of silver content and numismatic interest makes them an ideal option for those who value investment. So absolutely, if you're serious in this game, be getting your hands on Walking Liberties. These four options offer stackers a balance of intrinsic silver value, liquidity, and collectability 
making them ideal for buyers focused on real-time spot prices. Because folks, right now, the Federal Reserve meets again in early November, right around the corner, with talks of a possible interest rate cut. But even a small reduction might not make much of a dent in the current situation. Right now, we're facing record high credit card debt with balances reaching a staggering $628 billion. Monthly credit card delinquencies have hit a 12-year high, meaning more people are struggling to pay off balances than we've seen in over a decade. People are now leaning on credit for everyday essentials like groceries with rates on some cards hitting an average of 24%. Unsurprisingly, the majority of this debt sits with people aged 55 to 74, so sad, who are often on fixed incomes and less likely to have job opportunities to help cover these escalating costs. Bank of America recently reported that nearly half of all Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. I'd say it's a much higher percentage which isn't a shock given the soaring prices on basic necessities. Food costs, for instance, are up over 23% since, 2000, uh, since 2021, so literally three years ago, far outpacing most wage increasing, it increases. Housing affordability is also sharply declining. Despite modest interest rate cuts, mortgage rates remain high, pushing own, uh, home ownership out of the reach for many. Today, Average mortgage payments are eating up more than half of monthly post-tax income, creating a severe financial strain. Even the auto market is caught in this web of economic distress. Almost a third of car owners looking to trade in their vehicles owe more, than, more on their loans than their cars value, with some averaging $6,500 upside down. $6,500 to $7,000 upside down. This leaves consumers with little choice but to cover the difference themselves or hold on to depreciating assets they can't afford. Credit card and auto loan delinquencies have been on a steady decline throughout, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on, on, not, on, not a steady decline, on a steady climb throughout 2024, signaling a deeper debt crisis as people fall behind on their payments, coupled with relentless increases in living costs. This trend uh, strains consumers spending power to the breaking point. Considering the bleak economic landscape, silver represents an increasingly critical asset. Unlike cash, which loses value with inflation, or debt-backed assets like real estate and autos, silver retains intrinsic worth. Right now, as more consumers are weighed down by debt, silver serves as a stable investment, hedging against economic downturns and preserving purchasing power for those seeking a reliable financial safety net. But folks... Thank you so much for joining us for another evening of Silver Dad Knows. God bless you. God bless your household. And as always, God bless America.